the life of a mega nerd, baby. We doing things and we making it happen, right? From the trash 80 to a black Mercedes, no one can stop us now, cause we're keeping it nerdy, nice. Nah. What's up, YouTube? This is Chris with Sage Films, and, uh, as you've probably seen in my recent video, 100 uploads, as you've seen the fireworks effect, and also the flashing text effect. But today, all I'm going to show you is the fireworks effect in Adobe After Effects CS4. Go ahead and open up Adobe After Effects, and let's get started. Now, on my computer, it takes a while to upload because I've installed a lot of plugins, and also two plugins didn't install correctly, so a message pops up like that. That'll happen once more, and we'll just get this tutorial started. Okay, now first I'm going to do, I'm going to open up the project, and I'm going to show you why this file took so long to upload. In all, I had 541 layers, I believe, and here they are. Here's all these layers, so let me go ahead and go down. 544 layers. This video was a minute long, but it took a good two hours, two to four hours, to upload completely. It was a, it's just a huge render because I had it in HD and also it had 544 layers. But basically, this is what the effect was: just RAM preview. There we go. Really not as fast. Just when you RAM preview, that happens. But basically, you just see the fireworks effect like that right there. So then pause that and just go ahead and create a new project and new composition make this whatever you want make maybe 1280 by 720 and for this I'm just going to show you guys maybe 10 seconds there we go okay now what you're going to do you're going to go to layer new solid make that the comp size and click OK and you're going to go to effect simulation CC particle systems 2 you're going to go here to your uh, birth rate and create a keyframe you're going to go ahead about two seconds or no take that back go ahead about eight frames the burst looks like that and drag this all the way down to zero and there we go okay now go under producer and you can change the position or where you want the burst to be. So I'll just change the burst up here, first of all, and just close that out. Go to physics, go to gravity, make this round one, resistance around 50. No, no, make that around 10. 50 is a little too much. Okay, now just go ahead and minimize that and open up your particle, change the max opacity to 50. There we go. Now change uh, just the colors the way you want them. So I'm just going to change both of these to maybe a red. And there we go. Okay. Now let's go ahead and bring this back. And there you go. See that? Now you kind of see how it just like lingers there a little bit. So let me go back here to physics. Make the gravity around 2 maybe. There we go. And let's try this now. There we go. Okay, now basically what you're going to do, to get the multiple, what you're going to do, you're going to go here. Click Control D or Command D for Mac. Duplicate that layer. Basically, you can go in here and change the color. So I'm going to change this to blue. Go to the depth color, change it to battle blue too. Click OK. And then go over to uh, Producer. Change the position because you don't want it to blow up in the same spot. You just go here, maybe put it right here. And there we go. As you can see, this is the length of the full 10 seconds. So drag this down to about maybe a second. Same with this one, drag this one down about a second. And drag this one to about the middle of that first. And just go ahead and play that. There you go, you got your multiple burst. And you can continue to do this for as many as you want. So yeah, that's just a quick tutorial on how to create fireworks in Adobe After Effects CS4. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and please subscribe for the latest tutorials. And I'll see you guys next time.